All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciate and take it one day at a time. Most definitely, let us take the Lord for another day. Let us take the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us take the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back and a roof over our head. Let us take the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out, guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evening, getting us through the night. He is always looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God. There's so much things the Lord has done for us during our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy endures forever. He protects his people. He keeps his promises. Amen. So there's always something to praise the most high about y'all most definitely. Brothers and sisters of the faith, welcome. I appreciate all of you. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, comfort one another, support one another, intercede for each other. All those different things, people. We got to stay strong on one accord for the most high. Amen. Most definitely. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to all the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the love, the gathering, the fellowship, and the praise. Much love to the martyrs who did it before us and future martyrs, the brave, isolated believers who are persecuted and going through it for the gospel. Prayers up for all of you out there. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to the brand new converts who just gave life to Christ, who just became a believer, who just repented and got baptized. Much love to any grafted in Gentile of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, race, faith, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the believers out there. Most definitely, I welcome everybody, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath. Praise the Lord, all the animals, all the creatures, the beasts, the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Hallelujah. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted and grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High. Sing a new song. Clap our hands. Stomp our feet. Praise him. Rejoice. Always rejoice, y'all. Pray without ceasing. Play an instrument. You know, sing a new song. Do all the things you can for the Lord. Express yourself. Cry to him. Do what you got to do, you know. Always serve him with gladness and joy, and always worship his spirit and truth. Amen. Most definitely. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for you in my heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for you in my heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night. He has come back in a twinkling of an eye. At an hour, nobody knows but the Father. He has come back with them angels, y'all. So let us be ready, alert, sober, vigilant, watchful, prayed up. Let us keep the commandments, keep the word of God, keep the testimony of Jesus, keep the gospel, keep doing the great commission, keep spreading the word, keep being doers of the word, keep being in your purpose and your calling, constantly handle what the Father gave you, amen. Got to be alert, sober, vigilant, all those things, people. Got to be diligent and on a point in these times that are in, okay? Let the Lord keep revealing himself to us more often through dreams and visions, encounters, and all types of communication. Let us be more obedient and better listeners, more accountable and more disciplined and reasonable. And let us obey the gospel, obey the law, statute, commandments, obey all of God's word. Anything the most high told us personally, according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our talents, handle that, people. Any assignments and tasks the Father gave you, handle that. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. So hope that y'all are doing all right, staying strong in these times that we're in. What I'd love to do is go through today's Bible reading, go through recommended reading scripture, and go through this commentary. And then from there, we will close out with a prayer. We will close out with a priestly blessing. We will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So today's Bible reading is Psalm 115 in its whole entirety from verses 1 through 18. Recommended reading is Psalm 18, verse 28. The book of Hebrews, chapter not, chapter 10, verses 19 through 25. And also the book of James, chapter 1, verses 2 through 8. The title of this commentary is Defeating Doubt. Picture a small boy frustrated with a jigsaw puzzle because he is certain that the pieces do not fit the picture on the box. We are like this when we doubt. 
Each doubt makes us feel that this time we have found a real problem with God. But shake the pieces up a little bit. Rearrange the one or two that we have put in the wrong place and everything changes. It is not the fault of the puzzle or the picture, but the boy. It is the same with our doubts. What we begin by calling God's problems ends up being seen as our problem, which God solves. The problem of doubt is not ultimately a matter of God's faithfulness, but of our faith. Just as the answer does not ultimately depend on our faith, but on God's faithfulness. This should make us prepared to take all our doubts to God straight away. Through, Though with the help of believer friends, doubts which are not resolved will inevitably blame God in the end. But is it right to allow each doubt to blame God in the beginning? Any current doubt will tend to thrust away, thrust us away from God. But our experience of its resolving, our resolving our previous doubts should encourage us to come nearer. God is more certain, more faithful, and more gracious than our doubting views of him. So the better we know ourselves, the more inappropriate we know it is to trust in our own promises or vows. When all is said and done, we are still ignorant, weak, and sinful at times. How much better it is to pray. When we pray, even the most devastating doubt remains faith and does not become unbelief. Each of us, however, are confident we are. May be a doubter, so the doubtless prayer should strike a chord in all of our hearts. Dear Lord, although I am sure of my position, I am able to sustain it without you. Help me, for I am lost. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. What doubts have you experienced in the past? What ways has God resolved those issues for you? What advice would you give to a friend who's having, who is having doubts about God? What doubts are troubling you right now? Don't allow them to drive you away from God. Pray that God will help you draw near to him even in the midst of your doubts. Amen, people. Faith without works is dead. It is impossible to please God without faith. People say so that faith got to be on point. He is a world to seek him diligently, okay? So always keep mind of that, all right? Let's stop leaning on our own understanding. Trust the Lord with all of our heart. Amen. He'll make our path straight. Amen. Don't be wise in your own eyes, people. So there you have it, all right? It's that we are saved by faith. Faith is how we overcome this world. Amen. So just remind yourself of that, okay? What I love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise is only but God so who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He is the God of the Hebrews. Praise the Most High, y'all. His only begotten Son died for our sins, rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah, most definitely, y'all. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the Lord always, people. Praise the Messiah, y'all. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the Advocate, the Almighty, true living God, the Alpha and Omega, amen. The Apostle of our profession, the Arm of the Lord, the Atonement sacrifice for our sins, the Author and Finisher of our faith, the Author and Perfecter of our faith, the Author of life, the Author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the Beloved. Loved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord. God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am, that I am, the I am, who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel. The judge of Israel, he is the judge, he is the king, he is the king eternal, king of Israel, amen, he is the king of kings, hallelujah, he is the king of kings and lord of lords, Hosanna, Hosanna of the highest praise, Hosanna, son of David, blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord, we have blessed you out of the house of the Lord, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is my portion, the Lord is holiness, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my strength, my rock, my redeemer, my healer, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower, my deliverer, my redeemer, my salvation, my strength, my song, our provider, our shield, our buckler, 
all of that, amen, most definitely. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Yahai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai, Yeshaya, Adonai. He is the consuming fire. He is the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician can heal all things. He's the carpenter can fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rest on the seventh day. He can fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus, y'all. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him and he'll show you great mighty things, y'all. Search and seek him with all your heart. You will find him. He is a reward to those who seek him diligently, people. Your faith made you well. Your faith saved you. Your faith blessed you. Your faith is how you overcame the world and got you through all your situations that you got through. His favor is upon you. His mercy, grace, peace, and love is upon you in every situation. Praise the most high. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracle signs, wonders. We know that for the rest of our lives, the mighty hand of God is going to be on our lives forever. The outstretched arm of God is going to be on our lives forever. The finger of God will be on our lives forever. Amen. Praise him, y'all. Trust him. Call on him. Hallelujah. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and Savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace. The prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrected, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God. The source of return of salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word made flesh, the living word. Praise him, y'all. We know that his word is purified, civil, just as David said in Psalms. We know that every word of God is true, pure, and flaws, as the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his words are double sword as the book of Hebrews says. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. Praise some people. All right, y'all. I would like to read one of the recommended reading scriptures of Psalm 18, verse 28. You, O Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. Amen. I would like to read the book of James, chapter 1, verses 2 through 8. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. But when he asks, he must believe and not doubt, because he who doubts like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Amen, 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 amen. So that is the recommended race scriptures I just wanted to squeeze in. Amen. Because um gotta have that faith. People gotta be firm and strong and unmovable faith, unshakable faith, amen. Must have seen faith, hallelujah. Praise him, y'all. So there you have it. What I love to do as I close out on the way is give y'all the priestly blessing, all right? So here we go. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakatha. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.